Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. Hello everyone, welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. Today we are going to talk about 10 Bruce Lee Real Fight Nobody Knows. Many people often ask, can Bruce Lee fight for real? Is he the real deal or fake? Was he just an actor or a real martial artist? Some people also said that Bruce Lee never had a real fight so he won't be a good fighter. We have done a research and gathered some of the unknown fights of Bruce Lee outside of movies. We also gathered the fights Bruce Lee had before he became an actor. If you are doubting Bruce Lee's ability to go for a real fight, let's just go through this video together and you will find the answers you want. Real Fight Number 1 Bruce Lee vs Sammo Hung People who love Kung Fu Wu Shu or any kinds of martial arts should know who Sammo Hung is. Sammo Hung was born in 1952, 12 years younger than Bruce Lee. He is a Hong Kong martial artist and has been a fight choreographer for other popular action actors such as Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, Yuan Biao and others. Sammo Hung talks about the fight between him and Bruce Lee to the media for a couple times. He said he was going to kick Bruce Lee when both of them are in fighting stances. However, Bruce Lee's leg is already on his head before he was able to even raise his leg. In Sammo Hung's prime time, he can defeat many other martial artists easily in the real fight. Without doubt, Sammo Hung is one of the best fighters. A great fighter like him admitted that he was defeated by Bruce Lee in just a few seconds before he was able to raise his leg. What do you think then? Isn't Bruce Lee a monster? Real Fight Number 2 Bruce Lee vs Taki Kimura Here is a video of Taki Kimura vs Bruce Lee. It is very obvious that Taki Kimura is not even up to Bruce Lee's standard even though Bruce Lee is blindfolded. As you can see from the video, they were sparring each other but Taki Kimura keeps going down because of Bruce Lee is controlling the fight. Taki Kimura was born in 1924. He met Bruce Lee in 1958. At that time, Taki Kimura was already 34 years old and Bruce Lee was only 18 years old. Taki Kimura was Bruce Lee's top student and also closest friend. However, not to forget that he was also a great Japanese-American martial artist before he met Bruce Lee. He became Bruce Lee's student because he knows Bruce Lee is way better than him. Real Fight Number 3 Bruce Lee vs Wong Jack Man The real fight between Bruce Lee and Wong Jack Man is probably one of the most popular fights in Kung Fu history ever. Why both of these masters get into a fight? The story goes back to 1964. 24 year old Bruce Lee opened up a Kung Fu school in San Francisco. He teaches Kung Fu to non-Chinese as he believes under the sky we are one family. This has caused Wong Jack Man and Bruce Lee found themselves at opposing ends of the San Francisco martial arts world. So Wong Jack Man proposed a fight with the ultimatum that should Bruce Lee lost the fight, he would have to shut down his school and stop teaching anyone Kung Fu. Therefore, they fought and Bruce Lee won. Bruce Lee's Kung Fu school is still there after the fight. So what do you think then? Besides, Bruce Lee's wife, Linda Lee Catwell, also talked about the fight in her recent interview. He said the fight lasts 3 minutes. Bruce Lee won the fight but he didn't feel happy. From there, Bruce Lee keeps thinking of a way to win a fight instantly. Is that the reason why Jeet Kune Do exists? Fuck and fuck in Chinese means, do you give up? And he said yes. And that was the end. 
Real fight number four. Bruce Lee versus Muhammad Ali's bodyguard George Dillman. Who is George Dillman? George Dillman is a master of Ryukyu Kempo Karate. He is ranked 10 degree black belt in karate. He trained with Muhammad Ali and was once his bodyguard before. Dillman is also a member of Black Belt Magazine's Hall of Fame. He was named Martial Arts Instructor of the Year in 1997. He admitted that he was defeated by Bruce Lee in a real fight in less than 3 seconds. Yes, 3 seconds. A 10th degree black belt admitted that he was defeated by Bruce Lee. What do you think about Bruce Lee's ability in a real fight? Let's listen to what Josh Dillman said about the fight he had with Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee used to be able to do that with both legs. But you know, I went to, I went in my fighting stance and all of a sudden, wow! People really didn't kick high to Bruce Lee. Real fight number 5. Bruce Lee street fight in Hong Kong. Bruce Lee had a lot of street fights in Hong Kong before his returning to the United States at the age of 18. He learned Wing Chun from Master Yip Man at the age of 16 because he wanted to win over every fight he had on the street. Here we have an interview of Bruce Lee's close friend in Hong Kong, Steve Lee Ga Ting. Steve mentioned in the interview saying he saw Bruce Lee lifted up two men on the street who weighs about 140 pounds each. The two men were scared of Bruce Lee's strength and ran away. Steve Lee Ka Ting is a well-known martial artist and also actor in Hong Kong. He has a good reputation and he also a close friend of Bruce Lee. The story he told is definitely real. Real fight number 6, Bruce Lee vs Joe Lovis. Joe Lovis has won innumerable karate tournaments and was voted the greatest karate fighter of all time and world heavyweight full contact karate champion. From 1967 to 1968, this heavyweight kickboxing champion, Joe Lovis, studied privately with Bruce Lee. In his recent interview before his death, he admitted he was a student of Bruce Lee. He also mentioned that Bruce Lee weighs about 130 pounds but he punched like a heavyweight fighter. He also mentioned that they spar each other during their training. Well, a heavyweight champion like Joe Lovis became Bruce's student. Why? What do you think then? The only reason we can think of is Bruce Lee defeated him in their sparring. Real fight number 7. Bruce Lee vs Skipper Mullins Here is one and only video of Bruce Lee vs Skipper Mullins. Skipper Mullins is described as the greatest kicker in the history of the US karate scene. Mullins has won 7 world titles and Black Belt Magazine rated him as one of the top fighters in the US in 1967. Such a great fighter was TKO by Bruce Lee in a full contact match. What do you think? Real fight number 8. Bruce Lee vs Yuan Hua Yuan Hua is a popular Hong Kong stuntman and martial artist. He has appeared in over 160 films and his Kung Fu is widely recognized by many grandmasters. He said in an interview he was once tried to sneak attack Bruce Lee in a film set but gets defeated by Bruce Lee kicks. Real fight number 9 Bruce Lee vs Wong Chun Long. Perhaps this was the longest fight Bruce Lee ever had. According to Master Wong Chun Leung, a Hong Kong martial artist who studied Wing Chun Kung Fu under Yip Man, said he used to have a 12 hour training session with Bruce Lee in Hong Kong. At the time, only him and Bruce Lee was in the room, and nobody else is allowed to enter the room, even their spouse. Wong said they were both discussing their fighting styles in the room and will stand up for a real fight when both of them disagree on one thing. Wong said Bruce Lee's kick were fast but Wong's feet are as fast as Bruce's leg. 
Real fight number 10, Bruce Lee vs Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris met Bruce Lee in 1968 when he fought for his world title. Chuck won the professional middleweight karate champion title which he held for 6 consecutive years. Although Chuck Norris never admitted he had a fight with Bruce Lee, we have to put this as one of the real fights Bruce Lee ever had. Chuck Norris said in a couple interviews, he said he trained with Bruce Lee such as kicking the bags, punching the sandbags but they never fight each other. On the other side, Wing Chun Grandmaster William Cheong said Bruce Lee defeated Chuck Norris in a secret fight. William Cheong is a very reputable grandmaster of his lineage of Wing Chun. Therefore, we don't think he simply said that. Despite looking at Bruce Lee's speed, muscle, power, flexibility, and his austere lines, compared to Chuck Norris' body in 1972 Way of Dragon, can we say that Chuck Norris is not up to Bruce's strength even at his prime? What do you think then? One of Bruce Lee's letters, Chuck Norris was actually uh, defeated by Bruce and became Bruce's student. After seeing 10 fights of Bruce Lee, what do you think about this fight? Please leave your comment below, we would like to hear from every Bruce Lee fans around the world. Last but not least, if you love our videos, please share, subscribe and ring the notification bell. Don't forget to press a like for us. Thanks for watching.